Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, Lord. What a place like the Burlington Gospel Tabernacle. What a place. What a place. I mean, how many next places could you go? I find a place like this. How many next place? I mean, I think just like the reason, brother, David, um, is here so long. That's the reason I'm here so long. Not as long as him, but I can remember coming through these doors off. Somewhere around uh, 2002. And the day I walked in here, I know this was the place. I know this was the place. You know, there are so many other churches and pastors and preachers standing behind the pulpit. I call him Sweet Lips. Sweet lips. God forgive me. <laughs> I don't know what they mix the word with. I don't know if it's honey. I don't know if it's sugar. Or I don't know what it is. But I'm going to tell you, people love them so much because they could polish it up so good and mix it up right. so sweet. And people get to love it. But you know what? You don't see people get healed. Those people get saved. Right? Those churches, um, it's not in my hand to condemn or to complain, but I think everybody here would understand what I'm trying to say. Right? Um, the minute you turn the television on, somebody wants to sell you something. Right? You see churches go for hours. You never see an altar call. You never see somebody get invited to the cross, to the blood of Jesus. Never. Never. <coughs> and thank God we have a church like this church. Yes. Where you see people get saved. Where you see people get baptized. Where you see people get healed. And people call to their salvation. I would say call to life because out there, and sitting in those pews of them places with these sweet little preachers, as I call them. Yes. We, we, are, we are born for hell. Yes. I mean, there are so many offers that comes over the pulpit. And if we understand that those offers does not mean anything because unless you're in tune with Christ, Exactly or so. tied to the cross through the blood. Exactly so. These offers will mean anything to any one of us. Amen. And I, I, I don't want to be here too long, but I just want to draw our attention about what we have here and how we should keep it pure, as pure as we can. They are going to be struggled, they are going to be fight because Satan is always pushing and always fighting. But thank God that we have the blood that's going to conquer the act of Satan if we just keep on pushing and pushing towards the cross. Amen. Towards the cross. Amen. And I ask the blessing of God upon each each one of uh, you here. Brother Marlon, tomorrow, thank God for, for where you guys are leading us, my brothers and, and all up here. Thank God for the way we are going. And just say, keep on fighting this good fight. The cross is before us. Amen. The cross is before us. Like Brother Marlo said a while ago, what's the hell of Brother Marlo? The world behind. The cross before us. Amen. And just keep on pushing. Amen. And God bless each and every one of you. Amen. Amen.